I think uh, Premier O'Farrell of New South Wales is going to get the Winger of the, of the Week award. <laughs> I mean, the reality is, if you look at where Australia is, frankly, it makes sense to defend Australia from the north. And uh, Heather and I grew up in North Queensland, and we grew up with the folklore of the Brisbane line. Some of you wouldn't remember this, that if there was a Japanese invasion, they would defend us from Brisbane. And all of us in North Queensland were going to be left out. So you can understand there are a lot of us who actually feel very deeply about having a very significant naval presence in, in Brisbane, and we endorse it. And again, if you look at where, and I don't want to create any embarrassments for the federal government, but if you look at where any difficulties are likely to come from, they're not going to come from Tasmania and they're not going to come from New Zealand and they're certainly not going to come from Antarctica. So it makes good sense to actually have presence across northern Australia. We do have, uh, obviously, uh, a significant army base in Townsville, but it makes more sense to have a decentralised system and having the Navy in, in Brisbane is certainly a great idea and I applaud Kevin for doing it. You think of all the skills that will come with that, all the jobs that will benefit, Ford will benefit from it, all of Queensland will benefit from it and it means in the end that we actually share the defence of Australia. And all I just say to, to uh, Premier O'Farrell, get hold of a map of the world, have a look at where Australia is, look at where Australia is in it and have some understanding about how you would strategically defend the nation.